At the sight of the crowds, Jesus' heart was greatly moved with pity, for he saw that they were struggling and that they were abandoned, like a sheep without a shepherd. This, my dear family, this, I think, still applies to today's world. The world is still deeply troubled. Most everyone still feels deeply abandoned, like a sheep without a shepherd. We can see all around us poverty levels are rising, teenage pregnancies increasing, behavioral and anger issues are just a way of life that needs the courts to resolve them for us. Bullying and neglect, infant mortality, drugs and alcohol abuse, more and more people being imprisoned, gun violence, crime, high school dropouts, you name them. All of these are on the rise. According to a study done by a secular, non-religion, non-religious, and non-partisan, and also non-profit organization. They claim that together with these statistics, there is also a very strange trend. There is the trend of fatherless homes. According to the U.S. Census of 2022, for the living arrangements of children under the age of 18, more than 25% of Americans' homes live without the presence of a father. One in every four children have no biological step or adoptive father figure. This nonpartisan and non-religious institution is called the National Fatherhood Initiative. And since 1994, they have been studying the effects of a fatherless home in the U.S. Their research, their research has shown that children raised in a fatherless home are seven times more likely to have an undesired teenage pregnancy, four times at a greater risk of poverty. In fact, 90% of homeless in the United States are reported to come from fatherless homes. Children are also twice as likely to experience infant mor mortality in the first 28 days of life twice as likely to drop out of high school. Children are more likely to have behavioral and anger issues in a fatherless home, more likely to suffer neglect and bullying, likely to abuse drugs and alcohol, likely to be imprisoned. In fact, 85% of youth currently in prison come from fatherless homes. There is a great, great deep and need for a father. My dear family, in a few words, in a few words, this secular institution with no political motivation, hopefully, at least on paper, no governmental incentive and no religious influence, has determined that the role of a father is, at the very minimum, extremely important. Now, this is not to say that the role of mothers is not important at all. Sometimes they even do two roles at the same time. That was another homily for Mother's Day. So what am I saying here? It is to say that we fathers need to step up our game. A good father is he who looks at the crowds and is greatly troubled and has pity and is moved with love, looks at society and sees that we truly are a sheep without a shepherd. A good father, a good father recognizes the importance of his role, yet does not diminish the role of his wife and the importance of his children. A good father, a good father prays, loves, lets himself be loved, and breathes out love. It emanates love. And today, today, my dear family, we celebrate those fathers. We celebrate those good shepherds, those good fathers that despite these statistics and what the world has had to offer them are still here with us.
and they try to fulfill their role to the best of their abilities. Those fathers who, although they struggle, are a source of peace and love to their children and their wives. Those fathers are present here today. My dear brothers, this is the world that we have to minister today. Dear fathers, these are the people we minister. These are the nations that need a generation of shepherds. Shepherds shaped after the good heart of the shepherd himself. Called to be fathers to our children, to those who have no father figure, to those who lack that fatherhood. We are called to be fathers to them and also to our family. To be fathers for those who go around the world without a shepherd. We're called to be shaped after the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the side of the crowds, Jesus was greatly troubled, and his heart was moved with pity for them, because they felt abandoned. <laughs> 